Well, Nikola Motor Company, that was founded and run by billionaire Trevor Milton, received $4.1 million from that PPP program. Now, according to SEC filings, Nikola received the funds through J.P. Morgan Chase. Now, it doesn't seem like Nikola should be short of cash. The company makes hydrogen fuel cell and electric trucks. And last month, it announced a deal to go public on the NASDAQ by merging with Victo IQ. That's a publicly traded shell company. The deal valued Nikola at $3.3 billion. And by the way, it's also receiving as part of that deal more than $500 million in fresh cash from investors, including Fidelity and Value Act. Now, in an interview on CNBC last month, Value Act called Nikola a, quote, $100 billion company in the future. Now, Trevor Milton became a billionaire just last year based on his ownership shares. Six months ago, he shelled out $32.5 million for a 2,600 acre luxury ranch in Utah with a riverfront mansion that has a movie, movie theater, wine cellar, and gym. Now, the company telling CNBC in a statement that the PPP funding, quote, served as a bridge for its 300 employees until the deal closes, and that since PPP funds will be used to retain staff, the lifeline follows the spirit of the act. And I think, Tyler, the questions will now be for this company and all the other pu publicly traded companies. Does it really follow the spirit, if not the letter of the law, for the PPP Act? Back to you, Tyler. There's, there's nothing that you know of in the law that prohibits publicly traded companies uh, from taking this money, is there? No, there isn't. Uh, it, basically, you have to have 500 employees or less. Uh, Nikola has 300 employees. Um, and all they have to do is retain or rehire their workers by June 30th. And as, as you've done with your terrific interviews with the Junior's Cheesecake owner and others, you know, the, the letter of the law sounded good in principle. They're trying to get so much money out so quickly to save so many companies. And we're, when you're trying to lift all these boats, you're going to lift some yachts in the process. Uh, but you're absolutely right. Legally, according to the law, they followed it. They did nothing wrong. And they were eligible.